everyone and welcome back to me talk tv it's rena and i'm so happy that you have decided to click that button and join me on today thank you thank you thank you um today i am talking about how to be free of bed bugs permanently in 2021 yes and we all know that 2021 is just about over but going into the new year we're gonna know if you are new here how to get rid of bed bugs and be free from them permanently follow me okay so number one when you notice you have bed bugs check where they are coming from that is the foundation of the problem i'll be right back get rid of the foundation of the problem that is when you're going to get rid of bed bugs also number two start outside your home because listen they could be coming from someone else's home so you want to start outside your home and make sure that you get you some bacon soda to go around your home. You might need to get two or three boxes, but baby, it's very well, well worth it. I did, um, I didn't start outside, y'all, but I figured that's the way you should go. That's really where you should go first, is outside your home. And I did go outside my last home with bacon soda and all of that, because I want to make sure that if they do try to come over to my house, I mean, they're not coming in because of the bacon soda. So next, number three, steam the foundation of where they are coming from so when you know where they're coming from start steam and at the end of this video i am going to show you how you can get a steamer so please watch this all the way to the end so you can uh get you a steamer number four spray alcohol on each affected area okay so once you found out where the foundation is spray it with alcohol as well okay that's you know, I have three things that you can do. That is get the steamer, get you some rubbing alcohol, and baking soda, okay? And those are the three things that really helped and got rid of the bed bugs. Out of my life, out of my house, out of, just out of my head. Okay, out of my hair, I'll say. Out of my hair. So I don't have any more. Um, and they've been gone for a long time, and I feel so free and so happy. And I want you out there to be feel so free and so happy. Number... Five, uh, sprinkle baking soda, which I did just say, mention about the baking soda. Sprinkle baking soda in each corner of your home, wherever you see them at. Um, sprinkle each corner of your rooms with the baking soda, and that would dry them out, okay? They can no longer live like that, and that helps with the eggs and all, even the alcohol. It helps with the eggs, okay? Because you want to make sure that you are getting these eggs as well. Because, listen, if the babies are being born, then there's going to be more, okay? So get to that foundation. Also, check behind your picture frames, okay? You want to make sure that you are checking behind your picture frames because they will be hiding behind there as well. Um, so you want to make sure that you are looking behind your picture frames, looking up on your curtains, all of that stuff, because they like your curtains as well. And they also love wood. So if you have any wooden things in your home, make sure that you check your wooden things, like tables, whatever you may have. Um, let's see. And number, hold on just a moment, one moment. It's got to be number seven. Number seven, wash your clothes in hot water if you notice them in your clothes, okay? So if you notice bed bugs in your clothes, go ahead, put them in the washer, wash them, and make sure that you wrap them up in a bag so they cannot get back into your clothes, okay? And make sure that you, you know, I would rather get one of those things that you could just zip your clothes up in, okay? And then you definitely don't have to worry about them getting back in your clothes okay and make sure you do this every time so they won't get back in your clothes number eight clean areas very well behind your picture frame so once you see and you notice they're back there make sure that you clean those areas very well wipe your walls down behind the frames all of that because you want to make sure that you are getting rid of these things okay Okay, um, and that is what you do. You make sure that you are cleaning each part of your home. I had to look behind my picture frames. You can't really see them behind your frames unless you move them. So just look behind there, clean it up real good, and you shouldn't have no more problems um, with that area. Um, number nine, make sure that you vacuum your carpets. 
first I'm going to say steam your carpets as well. Because if you're not steaming your carpets, they are on the lower level. You can steam your bed all day long. But if you're not getting to that carpet, to the ground, where they're working their way up to your bed, then you're going to have some issues. So make sure that you are steaming your carpet, putting your baking soda in the cracks and crevices around your room, just around your room and those little, you know, cracks and crevices. Also, um, and make sure you are spraying your alcohol in the center part of your rug as well. This is exactly what I did and this is how I got rid of them because you have to get to that lower level where they are. So you make sure you get your alcohol spray your rug because if you're not doing that, they're not going away because that is getting down to the root of the problem where the eggs, all of that stuff is lying, okay? Um, so you want to make sure you are just doing all of these steps, all of these steps that I am telling you to take, do it, and don't be lazy with it. Because if you're lazy, then you're going to let them multiply while you're lazy. You need to get up out your bed if you see one and just start steaming right then, okay? I'm sorry if it's whatever time it is, but this is what I did. And this is how I got rid of them because I wasn't lazy. I just got up. If one bit me, I got up. I got up, I got my little flashlight on my phone, and I was like, hmm, I'm finna, I'm finna steam, I'm finna spray, I'm finna whatever I have to do. Because you just want to make sure you stay on top of these bugs. Because if you don't stay on top of them, this is how you don't get rid of them, okay? I'm trying to tell you how to get rid of them, be free from them permanently. Finito, they're gone no more in your life, okay? Um, and then number 10. Please do number 10. Continue to do number 10. Number 10 says, repeat these steps often as needed so listen that's just the same as me telling you uh when you see one to get up and do something about it because if you don't you're not gonna it's not gonna go away okay so get up repeat the steps as as often as you need so if you see any get up and steam if your children are complaining get up and steam if your husband's complaining get up and steam or your wife or what however get up and steam okay um no matter where you're at if you see one in your front room start steaming you see one in your room start steaming if you see one uh you know just in any part of your room start steaming now i'm gonna tell y'all something one of the things i did i did not see them in my bathroom i did not see them in my i don't think it was any in my closet i don't understand that but i guess it wasn't so bad to where they were just all in my closet all over my house they weren't all over my house my fact they were just in one room where i found where they were coming from and that was the foundation and once i hit that foundation they didn't start going all over the place but the room was close to my living room so they were in my living room and they got into my couch so i had to steam my couch that was the first very first video that i did steaming my couch and i'm telling you there was so many in my couch it wasn't even funny you can go back and watch that video and it will show you how they were dropping dead with these uh with the steamer so the steamer is absolutely amazing do not sleep on this steamer, I'm telling you. And the reason why I tell you to get the handheld, the one that you do your clothes with, is because you can get deep down in the cracks in the crevices of the thing, okay? Instead of, you know, you can get the one where um, you do your carpets and all of that, but the handheld is absolutely amazing because you can get through each crack crevice on your uh, furniture, your rug, all of that. And um, if you are not able to do that, have someone else to come in and do it for you that love you, your family. Because if you don't want to call a steam nerd, steam, exterminate, oh my gosh, exterminator, then you could just have them to do it for you, okay? Um, I mean, you know, if you're unable to do it. But also, I've seen a steamer that you could use as a handheld, and I will have these steamers list it down in this description so if you would like to get one of those steamers you are more than welcome i'm going to try to have a, co a coupon code on there so just go down there check it out and make sure that you get your steamer so you can start steaming these bugs away i love you guys be blessed and i will see you in the next vlog y'all this is vlogmas number is it seven? Yeah, vlogmas number seven. I love you guys. Be blessed.